Hey, how is everyone tonight? Good? Woo! Good crowd. Um, so, uh, I'm engaged. Yeah. Uh, it's not recent. Uh, it's been about a year now, but I'm still super surprised by it. <laughs> so is most of the people that I know. <laughs> They're like, we didn't see this happening, Courtney. And, uh, and legit though, like at our engagement party in his speech, my dad actually said, we don't know the how the fuck this happened. <laughs> but uh, please keep her. So. <laughs> that happened. Um, nah, but look, he has a point. Like, if you guys truly knew me, you would, like, a lot of weird things happens to me, right? So if you looked at me back then, you'd, like, be like, can't see that getting locked down, you know? Um, like, a couple years ago, I was in the States, I was on a holiday, and uh, a couple of friends decided they wanted to take me to this fancy rooftop bar. And I was, like, keen, because I was, like, sexy black dress, white high heels, hair up, earrings in. You know, <laughs> right? I, lo <laughs> I look fabulous, right? It was about half an hour, like, so good that, like, about half an hour in, this dude actually came up to my friends, pointed me out, and said, uh, where'd you get her from? <laughs> Dude thought my mates paid for me <laughs> for, for the night to, to have sex with, you know. <laughs> I was like, what? Who is this guy? I, I mean, to his credit, I had just blown him in the bathroom for 50 bucks, but... <laughs> 50 bucks is 50 bucks, right? And I mean, in that economy. <laughs> it was 65 Australian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, uh, so last year I was actually, I was diagnosed on the spectrum. Yeah, like, I'm, like autism spectrum disorder. Um, and I, what I really found is one of the biggest common misconceptions is that we lack empathy. Like, it's not true, I have heaps of empathy. It's just that uh, my face doesn't agree, you know? <laughs> My face says, you're a big old bitch, you know. <laughs> like, a couple, I think it was like, also a couple of years ago, um, I, was, I was on this date and um, I was having a great time. It was right before I met my partner, Ash, who I'm engaged to. Um, and uh, we were sitting across from each other and they were super nice and I had a beer and everyone was, everyone was having a good time. But my face looked like this. I couldn't make eye contact, that's the thing too. I couldn't, couldn't maintain the eye contact. And they were doing a really good job of it. So I was like, I need to return this, right? They're being a lovely person. But I suppose like the inner sort of monologue, the, what wasn't exactly rational, you know, like my thought process wasn't rational. I was like, okay, what if I look at them for too long and then I feel awkward so I look away and then they think that I'm not interested, but it's not that I'm not interested, it's just because I feel awkward. Right? Or what if it's that I look at them for too long and now they think that I want to kiss them? Or what if it's they want to kiss me and I'm meant to make the first move but I'm not picking up on that social cue because I won't pick up on that social cue, mate, okay? <laughs> or what if it's that I've looked at them for too long now, like way too long. I've, I've, I've just looked at them for way too long now that they think that I'm gonna, I've made this social agreement that I'm going to have sex with them later that tonight. <laughs> and I don't want to have sex with them later that night. I might, I probably, I will have sex with them later that night, but... <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl, I'm exactly that kind of girl. Um, <laughs> What if it says that you just want to have like an intellectual fucking conversation, right? Right? And so by the, this time I'm like, all right, I'm going to commit. I'm going to make the effort. I'm going to return the eye contact. But this stage though, the person has thought that I'm not interested. Valid, right? So they turn around like, geez, it doesn't cost anything to smile. Right? And because, you know, they clearly don't know what I just went through. And because <laughs> I can make the jokes but can't take the jokes. And also because I'm a little bit easily offended. Um, I turned around and said, oh my God, such a quinky dink. <laughs> That's such a coincidence, because it doesn't cost anything to shut your fucking pie hole, mate. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. And, but because I felt a little awkward, I like ended up yelling at the table next to him. And um, so I'm not <laughs> welcome there anymore. Um, <laughs> so, you know, when people actually say to me, like right before I got diagnosed, they, people knew I was getting assessed. And they were like, why are you going to get assessed for autism, Courtney? Like it's late in your life, you're alive still, so you're 34, you know, it costs a lot of money, it was 500 fucking dollars, right? So I was like, well, the answer's simple, okay? Because um, I was like, I'm just afraid that if I'm not on the spectrum, uh, then I'm just a fucking asshole. <laughs> so 
so can't have that. All right, guys, I, I've been caught for now. Thanks for <laughs>